It's an unmistakable sound at Madison Bowl and one that's been a long time coming for Craig Scruggs. Hearing the, hearing the pins fall, uh, the smell, you know, seeing the staff, it was, it was crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's overwhelming. Bowling centers, gyms, and the BMV among a handful of reopenings today, but the smells of those places cannot match the smell of the Maramont's freshly popped corn. Yet its seats are empty. Theaters still can't reopen. I see crowds everywhere, so my personal feeling is that people are ready to get out. But even with body temperature readers, only seating alternating rows, and requiring three empty seats between strangers, and a host of other precautions. 90% of the state's supposed to be open. I hope we'll be open soon. We were hoping to have already heard from Governor DeWine that it'd be possible for zoos to open, but we haven't heard that yet, and we certainly hope to hear soon and that we can open in June. Same thing at the zoo, describing at a recent press conference how it's ready to reopen. We asked the governor's office why some places like museums are not allowed to open, but places that seem much more high touch like bowling centers can. The answer, they fall into the category of tourism and travel, which remains as a category closed. At the museum center, management says even if the governor were to give the go ahead for reopening tomorrow, it would take quite a bit longer before they could do so. There are so many different offerings here, so many different facilities that each one is going to take very specific procedures. We're working to make sure that when we do reopen, we are ready, we're doing it effectively and responsibly. Back at Madison Bowl, they're just glad their number came up. Fair or not fair, I, I, can't, I don't make that choice. It's not my choice. So we were, we were lucky. David Winter, Local 12 News. Here we go. And we asked the governor's office when it would consider reopening businesses in the tourism and travel category. A spokesperson said that the lieutenant governor is working on that right now.